Hey guys, hope you are all doing well and welcome to today's video and today we have the pleasure of watching a game from Rubber Duck 12597 <laughs> but nobody calls him that, we all know him as Nicky and he is from the Who Clan of course I done the campaign last year in Who I still in contact with a few of the guys from over there and today he's going to show us a replay in the M46 pattern and what a beautiful tank the pattern is one of the old school boys from like 2011 2012 one of the original tier 9 mediums and it's still really good today and that was a nice shot there into the centurion he doesn't have the gun depression to get his gun down over his big fat British ass which means the team managed to secure the kill on them. Cheeky to 53 there. But... And that's one thing about the pattern. Not a lot of armour. As this STG is about to show him. He penned him right in the cupola there. And Nicky didn't manage to put a shot in, in return. Not a very good trade there really. Hey. And I don't know what this T-44 is thinking. He's not even looking at Nicky. But okay. Like. I wouldn't complain and this STG he's having a bit of a brain fart as well <laughs> that was um, an easy farm wasn't it and Nicky's on the Pearl River map recently introduced into the game or should I say reintroduced into the game it's uh, how do you guys find it I quite like it I think as World of Tanks maps go, I think it's a decent map. I'm not going to lie. I think it's it's uh, definitely better than, well, most of the maps in the game. <laughs> uh, World of Tanks maps providing us aids since 2011. Okay. So, Nicky's cleared up the middle of Pearl River and he's found a hole down T69 and... Do you know what the T69 hold down? It's quite trial, isn't it? But and then Nicky gets set on fire by the IS3. Like <laughs> this game's gone has been a bit of a roundabout so far. He's been really lucky and he's been really unlucky as well. And I think he's finding the limit of the passing's gun suppression here. I think he just can't quite find the angle where he's hold down and where he is can also get a shot into the T69 without taking a trade but the superior alpha damage of the pattern pulls through which means he now has a farm on the side of a 257 and an IS3 like this is um yeah this is uh I would quite like to be in this situation and Nicky is kind of say Nicky he can be one of the nicest guys I've ever known. But he can also be one of the saltiest... Well, no, not saltiest. One of the tox most toxic fucks I can ever know as well. Yeah. If you know Nicky, you will know what I'm talking about. Anyway, moving back to the replay. He's... This IS-3 doesn't want to get shot by him. The 257 is just ignoring him, which means he can farm. I am really jealous at the moment. Even the uh, 257... Full head armour can't really match up against the Patton's 105mm, especially when it's angled up at such an angle where he's exposing the engine deck and not really exposing the tracks, which are obviously don't have anything behind them, so you can't theoretically do damage whilst tracking them. It's almost impossible. It's one of the most troll tanks in the game since, I don't know, three years ago when it was introduced, it thinks crazy. It's got, if it was a crab, it would be overpowered because going sideways in that thing works. And that's the back of a Yag Tiger. Okay, I am not complaining there. And he's got a decent tracking shot off. And can he get the kill? No. He did set him on fire, but one of the teams stole it in the end. So that was a M46 pattern on Pearl River from Nicky. Thank you, good sir, for sending it in. 
and we should be having a look at the post game stats and yeah <laughs> I think this is with credit boost and he also applied the times five booster with your premium account he picked up uh, duh, 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 duh. Six and a half K damage, nearly 1600 experience. And also, can I just say, I haven't aced the passing either. I need to get moving on that. He's got an almost perfect hit ratio. And because he fired quite a lot of premium, he only made 100K profits. Yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching today's video. And thanks to Nikki for sending in the replay. Stay safe and I'll see you on the next one.